Well, well, welcome back everyone to this well of a sewer. So, our only job Grinding left this month. Our grip on the area. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. He's the warehouse servant. We just have to go this straight down to the so warehouse building, sir. Looks like we'll uh, start from over by the helipad. We'll have to sneak out of the helipad. Well, I use sneak in a loose sense because loads of people are probably going to be shooting at us given how much they love their choppers. And then we're going to have to sneak into the warehouse buildings. Now the warehouse buildings are going to be tough. Let's see, we also have no one with us at the moment. So this is definitely going to be tough. Let's see. Oh, hello there. I'm just going to sneak away. Ish. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Ah. I uh, didn't think they'd actually follow me up here. Now let's see. I... I want to... I, I was going to take a different route, but there aren't any freedom fires on the route that I want to use, so... Let's quickly... quickly go around here. Get some freedom fighters. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. I was going to sneak around the... Uh, other side around that helipad. But now that we're here, we probably won't have to do that to begin with. Fall in. All right, lead the way. Hmm. We may do it. I th think there might be someone over there that Follow we me. can rescue. Get over here. Let's go. I'm your man, sir. Yeah, good. All four of you. Because there's a there's a building that I want to enter on this corner here. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't want to expose everyone to that turret. Fall back. Go go go. Just want to go around here a little bit. Ha. Oh jeez. This is a bit chaotic. Good to get rid of that truck. And a few other people while we're at it. Oh. Ah. Don't worry everyone, don't worry. Oh wow. <laughs> Hitting everywhere except inside the crosshair. As usual, Chris. I'm already better. Good. Okay, well, no one's left alive to take control of that turret. Okay. I still wonder how they get up there. Do they have to get ladders around and every time they want to get in or out, they just use ladders? I don't know. Let's see. I don't know why you didn't shoot him sooner. You're usually quite good at shooting people. Freedom fires. Let's see. There's not much around those cargo containers, as I recall. But this way... Ah, yes, I believe it was in here. You're gonna be fine. Thanks for helping out an old-timer like me. If I were younger, I'd take along with you. You resistance boys might want to know that the Reds have been moving plenty of trucks across that bridge. The one near the tracks. Well, we already know that, but uh, I'm glad you're alive. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can uh, get him to fall out of the window, shall we? Oh, what? <laughs> Guess I wasn't close enough for the shotgun to have full effect. Let's take a little look up here. Yeah, nothing there. Any 
anything on the floor. Ah. Been getting shot a lot in the back so far, haven't I? Okay. Yeah, that leads to outside. We don't want to go outside right here. Regroup. Let's go. Let's go. I'm with you. Let's see. If we go this way, we should be able to get a sniper rifle. Ah, uh, yes, right here. We want to go outside there, but it's awfully exposed. Mm. You know what? Why don't we just try winging it? Let's see. Yes. Move it. Get moving. Oh. <laughs> okay, sniper right there. Did he drop the rifle? Where even is the rifle? I can't see the sniper rifle. Ah, I would have used a sniper rifle to go around, well, to support our freedom fires here, but we can't do that now. Ah, there it is. How on earth does it get down here? Pull out. Come on. Take it. Take the town, all of you. Well, so far so good. Uh, usually it's a lot more intense, this part. I don't want you to go that far, jeez. Yeah, use that turret, that'll be good. Nice job so far, we have plenty of health kits here. So feel free to, well, die. <laughs> Yeah, nice job dying, everyone. I should have told them to defend rather than attack at that point. Okay, now, the rest of you come with me. Uh, I think there might be something we want to use up here. person, maybe. Uh, three people. There's nothing else here. Just a few cards. I is, is that what you do when the reds are right outside your door? You play cards? Because no one bothers to check behind the rubble because they think you're dead? Ah. Destroy that obstacle! You heard me! Please destroy that obstacle. That's the closest I've ever been to health without, uh, well, to dying without actually dying in this game. Usually it's not that close. Yep, charge. There's only one way in here, I believe. That's right through the front. Some people have already made it inside. Lucky them. I would like another sniper rifle to use at this point, but of course rare, so we can't have what we want. We'll open this manhole, and quick save. Okay, so we all have assault rifles. Hmm. I'll have to switch to an assault rifle as well, because there's well, I'm just going to need to. Okay, there's nothing else around here. We just need to charge straight in.
on, stick your knee out some more. Good. Okay, well, <laughs> this looks like quite an important uh, center, doesn't it? Given their terminals and such. I don't see any actual... Well, I mean, they're all consoles, but I don't see where they're actually storing anything. Oh, I'm not going to take that SMG, because I believe we'll see a sniper rifle right over there. But first of all, I want to go up here. Let's see. can't remember if there's anything up here, actually. to cross over to the other side. Oh wait, yes there is. There might be something good over there. Maybe. Or uh, since it's just a... well, realistic-ish game, there probably isn't anything up here. Oh. Are you serious? Oh man. Oh man. I never noticed that all this time. <laughs> it's a I never remembered that route, so I guess you can, well, just come in through that window by climbing up all those vents, and then rain on everyone from above. That's, well, that's quite neat. I did not think there was an alternate entrance into this. Oh! <laughs> How come I miss that guy so much? Now, where's the rifle? The rifle's there. Ah, come on. Good. I want to get those guys up there. They're not actually shooting at us. Tuh. Ah. I wanted to get them before they uh, shot at us, but they weren't posing any danger to us in the first place. So my efforts are for nothing. Oh. Well, my efforts are still... Ah. Man, their body armor must be amazing. Mm. Let's see, we could jump out there, or we could take the long way out. Let's take the long Get way out. Here, squad. Try getting over there. Oh, sniper up there, eh? Wonder if there's a way to get up there. Hmm. I don't see any doors like there were previously. Okay, good. This place is safe. already cleared the uh oh great even more medkits we've already cleared the area outside here so it should be pretty free but I'm gonna climb up here anyway hmm, sounds good Pull out. Get all right moving. here it is the flag is right on top of this building Nasty surprises? Nope, because we already shot all of the nasty surprises before getting here. And now it's nice and quiet. Almost eerily so. Alright. We almost used the same number of medic kits. Us and the Freedom Fighters.
Tatiana Kempinski at SAFM Studios in New York. Autumn is definitely here. There is a chill in the air, but the citizens of New York are coping, thanks to the many Soviet engineers working overtime to repair the many power stations that were damaged during the recent rash of rebel attacks. Freedom Phantom, the mythical figure that has eluded our troops and orchestrated so many surprise attacks on central installations, is thought to be responsible. Earlier today, Comrade General Tatarin had this comment. All that this Freedom Phantom character and his rabbit followers are really achieving is punishing the citizens of New York with these attacks. They really must stop for the sake of the people. We simply cannot get the food and the power situation under control until we can guarantee the safety of the hard-working men and women of this administration. Comrade Tatarin, the Colonel Balva says that the situation will only get under control once the Phantom is found and eliminated. And if this doesn't happen soon, severe measures will be taken against any collaborators and all others helping them. What are your comments on that? We hope to resolve this in civilized way without further collateral damage. We are here to restore stability, not disrupt it. No further questions, please. Spasibo. We will be back after a short break. Stay with us. Well, forgive me for prying, but having about nine of your planes crash in one week doesn't seem like a very stable... <sighs> Well, I mean, how do you maintain that, huh? If you were crashing more planes previously... <laughs> You're hopeless, all of you. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that may be the only reason why we're succeeding here. Because they just aren't that good. I mean, we have some street kid telling us how to use C4. <laughs> Oh well, let's see what everyone's up to. Sometimes I wonder how Mr. Jones gets all his information. Beats me. He sure is connected though. We'd be nowhere without him. Hmm. What did he do before the war? Nah, I don't know. Probably worked on Wall Street or something. I think Chris and him go way back. D why oh, don't you? There you are. <laughs> Good work handling that Soviet stronghold. Very impressive. We've really stirred them up this time. They've added plenty of reinforcements. We'll need to start operating at night, so stick to the shadows and avoid their floodlights. There are three areas to deal with here. The Soviets are unloading BTRs at the docks. That'll be our first target. Next is the power plant. Some of our fighters tried to take it last night, but were caught. We think they're being held somewhere close by. Last is the movie theater. It's a bit of a mystery to us, but a lot of troops are moving in and out of the area, so we need to take action. This will be a tough assignment, Chris. We know you can handle it. <laughs> you know what? Bags looks like he can handle it more than I can at the moment. <laughs> but also... <laughs> that's just about the only time Mr. Jones is ever mentioned like that. Uh, oh, I'll take this SMG for once, why not? <clears throat> well, that will be all for now, but... <laughs> what, look, what, instead of wondering if Chris and Mr. Jones go way back, why don't you actually ask him? I mean, he's right here. <sighs> oh well. Oh well. Next time, we'll head to either the movie theatre, the warehouse dristi district, or the power plant. And this is where things really pick up. We're breaking free in Manhattan. And as it may seem, all of these areas are even bigger than the last. Or at least it certainly seems that way. There will be nighttime operations. And it will all be chilly. So, see you then, everyone. Stay warm. <laughs>